Hi. How are you? Good, did you? Good. <laughs> I have three questions for you. Mm -hmm. um, the first one. Mm -hmm. What was the first gift you have bought for you? First. And where were you? Um, well, she has bought a number of gifts, but I'm trying to remember the first. The first. the first gift she bought to me. Okay, the first one could... The first gift was after... When I, I just joined, when I just finished Form 4, that period, I bought for me uh, a perfume. A perfume? Yes. You, you bought him or he bought you? He bought me. Okay. Before I joined, even I joined college. Wow. I'm trying to remember quite a number of gifts. That was way back many years. Yes. And um, I remember she got me, she brought me a cologne. That was way back, way back many years. And yeah. And you, did you ever buy him a cologne? Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Okay. Wow. He loves, he loves colognes, so. <laughs> um, the second question, mm -hmm. what is the silliest, silliest mm -hmm. argument you ever heard that you love about it today? There is one time um, we were just arguing uh, about, uh, well, we were driving to, to the village and then um, we just reached a point and uh, the radio was on. And then uh, she told me that, hey, you have to put off. Then I'm like, I want to listen to music. Mm -hmm. So she puts off, I put on. She puts off, I put on. So we started arguing from that point. Then at one point, well, I told her, well, you can just, uh, well, let me use the earphones now. So that I listen to my music, you can just be. Then we realized we are just arguing. We argued from, I think, for two hours along the road. <laughs> Misplacement of a loyalty card. <laughs> what happened? Um, we were from uh, shopping. See these loyalty cards that mm -hmm. were given by supermarkets. Supermarket. So uh, I gave him the card to him and uh, to keep it. I think either I didn't have a pocket or somewhere to place, so I gave him to keep it as we were walking out of the supermarket. And uh, of course, when you're going next shopping, you're looking for the card because you don't want to miss out on the point. And uh, from from him, I of course I inquired where is the can, and my mind was so clear. He gave him, and him is arguing I didn't give him. We looked for that loyalty card. Of course, from where I sit, even I'm not bothered looking for it so much from my side because I know and I'm double sure I gave him. But from him, he feels I'm the one who <laughs> I'm the one who is having the can. Of course, we argued about it, uh, but later on, we found it in his jacket. The last one, the house is burning. What are the three items your wife will rescue from the house? Number one, I think he will rescue our documents. Uh, number two, I think he will rescue our wedding bands. Number three, I think he will rescue. <laughs> he will rescue his publication. He has books he has published in relation to his PhD. So I think they are dear to him from where I see it. So I think he will rush to rescue them if they are things, not people. If people? People, I think our children, myself. <laughs> of course, himself. <laughs> if this is burning today, yes. um, I'm sure she'll start with the children and then uh, she'll tell me the house is burning. No. Uh, well, the buildings. Oh, yeah, she'll start the children mm -hmm. and uh, documents mm -hmm. and uh, she loves her rings. So I'm sure the rings will be somehow, <laughs> somehow, 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 somehow they are protected. Wow. Yeah. came in 
so handy at that point to assist me in the process, in the entire process. Why were you doing wow. all this? <laughs> I, I believe there are other girls out there, they wanted to do nothing, but it was to help me. So. She looks for cast. Mm -hmm. She looks like she has a direction. She yeah. knows well, she, and also she knew what she wants. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, I think there's a person that you can whatever invest in and probably make sure she is well, mm -hmm. she is groomed to what you want. Hello, hello, and good evening. It is another Furahi day, and you know how we do it. Yes, this is Kapo's Wheel Show, and this is where we ride down our love wheel. Well, we are alive, for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under. Neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone. And we said bye-bye to the month of March, and now... We are welcoming the month of April. It is 1st of April. The people of the world, they will call it Fool's Day. I hope you are not fooled this day. And if you were fooled, pole sana. And I hope you didn't fool anyone. And I hope there is no spouse who fooled the spouse. <laughs> sawa, sawa. Thank you very much for always joining us. We are always honored to have you on board, Karibunsa. And I can assure you tonight, your expectations shall not be cut short. Because I am, I'm having an amazing, amazing couple. You love their story. Just a hint. You know, you are in college and you've just completed your studies. And the day... You want to go back home. This dude comes and says, I want us to start planning for our wedding. Yes, that is the story we are going to listen tonight. And my name is Willie Kinyash. And now there they call me the undisputed Ama Dr. Love. Karibu Nisana. This is Wema TV, the voice of hope. And I am hosting the Mogambis. They will be sharing with us their love journey and how it has been. Hi guys. Hi. Hi. Karibuni sana. Asante. Thank you for having us. Yes, it's good to have you here. Okay. And uh, feel free, enjoy. Let us have fun. And um, I think after this, after the show, uh, you guys, I'm going to give you uh, a kind voice because <laughs> I'm taking you back to where you started. <laughs> So, wow. so karibuni yes. sana. Thank you so much. Uh, kindly you can do the introduction. Great. Um, my name is Mugambi. Uh, I'm born again. And um, I say that uh, I'm a medic. I work in an hospital setup. But all in the, um, I'm married for a decade plus. Mm -hmm. Some few years now. We celebrated 10 years the other day. And uh, we are blessed with two boys. A lovely two boys and uh, with me is my wife she can introduce herself wow. my name is mary mugambi i am born again uh, and uh, i'm married to this lovely gentleman by the name mugambi i'm a mother of two boys just as he said six years and four years and yes we've been married for the last Yes, this is our 11th year. As you said, we celebrated our anniversary last year, mm -hmm. our 10th anniversary last year, and we thank God for, the, wow. for this fun. 11 years? Yeah. What do we imagine? <laughs> <laughs> wow, amazing. Yes. Yeah. So, you guys, uh, how and where did you guys meet? Um. <laughs> It's all, I always get mixed versions here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Share your version. <laughs> well, I think you'll get different versions, yes. but my version is very strange in a way. Uh -huh. um, those days after high school, and you are just loitering in the village, mm -hmm. and um, you are loitering in the local market, 
And then you spot a girl mm -hmm. who, who looks so well. She, well, she strikes your eyes and you're like, wow. Mm -hmm. she, you don't know her, mm -hmm. you don't know much about this person, but you say, oh, wow, I've seen someone. Yeah. And then you start pursuing that person. Mm -hmm. So it is just like that. Mm -hmm. And as they say, who knew, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest and is history, as people say. And so, yeah, now you are an item. Absolutely. So, so you, for you, you were loitering around. I was just the, just in the market. The uh, well, we cannot call was it loitering. loitering around? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we cannot call it loitering per se. Uh -huh. um, I was just working in another place. Uh -huh. Well, that is just in the market. That is what I wanted. Yes, to get. I was working in another place, uh -huh. and you know, as usual, being the being the errant boy in the workplace. Uh -huh. So you are sent here, you are sent there, you are sent there to deliver something, you are sent there. So well, you can call it purely not a loitering per se. Uh -huh. But you are just in your course of your duty, mm -hmm. and then you happen to spot somebody just mm -hmm. along. Well, they used to run a shop. Mm -hmm. and you just pass by the shop, and you are like, "Oh, there's somebody I've seen in the shop." Wow. And uh, yeah, you just uh, feel that uh, you have seen somebody special there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what it ended. Wow. So yeah. for you, the first time you saw her in that shop. Yeah, yeah. Let's hear her version. <laughs> Okay, um, for me, I think, uh, just as he said, the first place we met is, um, uh, I happened to just have finished home form, though him he had finished her, uh, I think, one year, one year earlier yeah. than me. So he was working in, a, as he has said, he's a medical profession, so he, he had that passion, and he was going to pursue a medical course. So I think his passion led him to work in a certain hospital in the shopping center mm -hmm. and uh, for me I am just finished from for my mom runs still today she runs a business there she used to run a shop mm -hmm. and after from form I went there to help mm -hmm. and um, the where I was working the, that family was our family friends mm -hmm. my family and them they were family friends actually I assumed mm -hmm. he was one of the sons mm -hmm. of that home. Mm -hmm. Though of course, those family friends, not on a day to day, our parents were friends, mm -hmm. but us as kids, mm -hmm. we, we, were we, were, we were not very close. Mm -hmm. So I thought he's a son to mm -hmm. that family. Mm -hmm. And any time we needed any medication, we would just be treated there, we used to buy drugs from that pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So I would go and meet a bunch of boys, because mm -hmm. that <laughs> couple have boys. Mm -hmm. And I would think, I think they were around three or four, and mm -hmm. I would think he's part of the family. Mm -hmm. And uh, as he said, we have a shop. I used to run my parents' shop. Mm -hmm. And he, will, he would come to shop mm -hmm. on behalf of items of mm -hmm. that family. Mm -hmm. He would come to shop from our shop because that family used to shop from our shop. Mm -hmm. So I met him there. But out of the gents, uh, uh, there was something about mm -hmm. <laughs> this one. Mm -hmm. So that is where, that is where we connected. Mm -hmm. But initially, I just thought it's just someone mm -hmm. who belongs to that family. Mm -hmm. Though him, he tells me of a story mm -hmm. that because that clinic had a salon nest, mm -hmm. and I used to visit that salon mm -hmm. for my hairdressing, mm -hmm. he tells me the first time mm -hmm. he met me in that salon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so this girl has just finished uh, for four. You've seen her in that shop. Uh, when did you start drawing some lines? Mm. Well, <laughs> you are saying something. Yeah, I want to remind you. Uh, you want to remind I don't know if it's then, but you can say. It. <laughs> but I remember um, I was also passionate about doing uh, nursing. Mm -hmm. I'm a nurse by profession. Mm -hmm. Though, of course, I'm diversifying into other areas about business. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you look out for people who are in the field mm -hmm. or who are in the field like you want to venture. Yeah. I remember getting nursing then was a big deal. It's not like now when you want to go in and do a nursing course. It's yeah. street four and you can just get a letter within a shop. It was a big deal getting admitted at the KMTC. Mm -hmm. So for me, I, I, I knew the family, that family where he was working for, where I thought he's a son, mm -hmm. they are medics. Mm -hmm. The, the father, the mother, mm -hmm. the bigger son, I think also is a nurse. And I thought this is the family mm -hmm. to help me. Yes. And of course also my, my mother mm -hmm. also reached out 
mm -hmm. for them to help. Mm -hmm. And I think in the course, I think, I don't know if we had the agenda then, mm -hmm. he stepped in mm -hmm. very fast he, to he help. confirming to us later. Yes, <laughs> confirming. He yes. should confirm. Yeah. He, he really stepped into that. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, at that point, mm -hmm. to help me uh, to look at my results, mm -hmm. uh, check if I qualify for the for the course I wanted for the nursing course, mm -hmm. he guided me on what he really played a very big role of guiding me, uh, giving me options of the courses that I could take mm -hmm. within the medical fraternity. Mm -hmm. He helped me apply for the course. Mm -hmm. And uh, he kept also advising on what I can do after the basic nursing, mm -hmm. that you can pursue this, post, mm -hmm. post the, 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 I mean as an advancement, as you advance. So actually it gave me more desire mm -hmm. of wanting to, as much as I was interested in nursing, it mm -hmm. gave me a reason also to want them to do it first. Wow. But how he came in, he came in so handy at that point to assist me in the process, in the entire process. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if he was doing it from a point <laughs> of interest. Let him tell us, why were you doing wow. all this? <laughs> I, I believe there are other girls out there, they wanted to do nothing, but it was uh, to help me. Uh, well, um, I think at that stage, uh, well, I was young. Mm -hmm. So um, you are also trying to, to probably place yourself somewhere you're trying to focus on your education. Mm -hmm. You're also trying to focus on a relationship, but you're not so sure. Mm -hmm. So you are trying to look at, well, try to see who is who. Mm -hmm. So and then uh, this girl just pops in and I'm like, oh, okay, she looks forecast. Mm -hmm. She looks like she has a direction. She yeah. knows, well, she, and also she knew what she wants. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, well, I think there's a person that you can whatever invest in and probably make sure she's, well, mm -hmm. she is groomed to what you want, I mean. So, yeah. mm -hmm. well, <laughs> Well, and uh, we started that way, as she says, probably. I, I, I also didn't know that I played a big role in that aspect. Mm -hmm. But I was doing it, I think, not really for fun per se, mm -hmm. uh, but also it brought us together mm -hmm. and maybe not to engage and talk and get to know each other more. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, it was a platform, just, just, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. Well, yeah. well, I mean, well, 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 I mean, every boy child may want a platform to get yes. an easier mm -hmm. way to talk to a girl. Mm -hmm. And I think for me, they played a big role because at least there was something that we are discussing. Mm -hmm. And then the process, you have not to learn probably what does this person think? Yeah. What is in her mind? Mm -hmm. Where does she want to be? Where does she want to go? Mm -hmm. What is in her mind at that mm -hmm. point? Mm -hmm. And then out of that, I realized, wow, this is a person that makes what I really want. Mm -hmm. And as she says, we started from there and uh, one thing led to the other. Mm -hmm. And we found ourselves now, we are now behold now applications. Now yes. we are doing whatever, mm -hmm. talking other things. Mm -hmm. And the friendship started building from there. Wow. So I think it has been a journey mm -hmm. per se. Mm -hmm. It's not purely that it, we just bumped and, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, well, I think that's what could say, but initially, um, I, well, I think it was a coincidental maybe finding that, oh, you are also probably eyeing, well, you know, you are just open book in a way. Mm -hmm. You yeah. are, you are yeah. just open to, to many things that you are trying to focus on one area. Mm -hmm. And then this person comes and you are like, ah, this is what I was looking for. And that's wow. it. Wow. Mm -hmm. So when did you start now drawing lines? Uh, <laughs> that time. <laughs> yes, yeah, oh. so as you say, one thing <laughs> lent to another. Mm. Uh, of course, the pro friendship advanced. One thing I can say at that point it was really, I think I was also so quick to be keen to him because he was very respectful, mm. very respectful, very focused. Because even as he was also young, knowing that he, he had just cleared school a year before me, mm. but the kind of content mm. he used at that point, mm -hmm. I, 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 I was left wondering because I think he's the first he was my first boyfriend. Wow. So uh, I, I, I felt like uh, he is someone who has a sense of direction. Because mm -hmm. number one, you see like the way young men will rush into, if someone really is known for something uh, concrete, mm -hmm. they will first quickly win you, maybe for short term gains. Mm -hmm. But him, he was quite objective mm -hmm. in that first of all, is focusing on my academic progress. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. That time it was a big deal for him. I could tell it was so a big deal. So that earned him a bogger point? 
Yes, <laughs> that one. Number two, respect. <laughs> because the moment we used to do, you would come even to our room back where my parents used to be. There was where my mom used to run a shop. He used to stay in the same place, behind houses behind there. Mm. And we would be with him as we process the admission and what have you. But he was so respectful. So wow. respectful. Not mm. at time I felt like he has felt like he has an opportunity with me alone mm. to disrespect. Mm. So I kept on wondering, okay, what kind of woman is Did you ever reach so you did you ever reach to a point and uh, ask yourself, is this man is this young man normal? <laughs> <laughs> Not really because eh? what used to amaze me was his level of respect mm -hmm. and focus. Mm -hmm. Uh at that age still because mm -hmm. also mm -hmm. I just cleared from form mm -hmm. and uh, having uh, been brought up personally I've been brought up in a very strict mm -hmm. Christian family mm -hmm. so that's what I'm telling you that was he was my first boyfriend because all along mm -hmm. I had journeyed uh, a life with my parents of a Christian life where you know at that point you 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 not you're not allowed mm -hmm. an issue of Having a boyfriend, girlfriend, it's not a discussion. It's, you, I mean, it's, it's, it's not a discussion yes, at that point. What are we discussing? Are we, discussing? <laughs> are we in school or are you having boyfriends? Mm, mm. So I think uh, the, the faith that had been built in me by parents mm -hmm. didn't allow me to wow. interact with boys, boys to that yeah. level mm. of saying I have a special friend. Mm. And him, mm. he had loved God from a tender age. Mm. So even as he was interacting with me, then mm -hmm. I could pick without telling me I'm born again. Mm -hmm. I would pick this a guy who is who, who was a relationship with God. Mm -hmm. So I think also that really gave it, gave him a mileage because mm -hmm. I felt about this someone who concerned about my future, someone respectable, someone who loves Christ. Mm -hmm. So I think it gave us a place of jelly mm -hmm. at that point. Wow. Yeah. Uh, maybe coming back to Mugambi, yes. and uh, I know there are some. Uh, young men out there, they have lost an opportunity or they lost this girl because of the way they behaved. You know, the way, the way they would talk to this girl. Uh, what, what made you um, to hold yourself uh, and show her that respect that she's talking about? Well, um... There were several things that were coming up mm -hmm. to my mind, mm -hmm. and um, one of them was the Christian uh, background. Mm -hmm. I, I remember my family was not that well up in the Christian foundation, mm -hmm. so uh, I found myself now uh, drifting to the church, mm -hmm. and then um, the Christian Union as well. So I was well, I was kind of shaped up to the expectation of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. And then I was also looking at, um, it reached a stage where by, um, I'm looking at a stable relationship. Mm -hmm. and, and I want to see it go to all the stages until you establish completely to a family, to a marriage, everything. Mm -hmm. So it was a passion in me that uh, whoever who I get engaged to, mm -hmm. they must reach all those levels. Mm -hmm. So no jokes aside. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was just a straightforward like that. Mm -hmm. If you start this one, it must go to the head. Wow. So, and I think that's what made us go strong. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I don't think we took quite some years actually in that kind of a formative stage. Mm -hmm. But I think I was so determined mm -hmm. not to mess up mm -hmm. and just lose the focus. Mm -hmm. So it was just that I have like deliberate effort. Yes. Not to mess up on the road, mm -hmm. not to get entangled with issues, mm -hmm. but again also get focused on what I want to achieve. Mm -hmm. And that's what made uh, me, I think, get focused on that. Wow. And it did not get me like disrupted, probably mm. just mm. focus on other mm. things. Mm. Yeah. Maybe with that you can speak to young men. Maybe there's a young man who is watching us and uh, he's been struggling with that. Speak to that young man. Well, um, for the young people, uh, this is just an advice. Mm -hmm. Just get to know what you want. Mm -hmm. Get to know what kind of a girl you are looking for. Mm -hmm. Get to see 50 years from today, mm -hmm. 60 years. How do you want your family to be? Do you, how do you want that woman to be? Mm -hmm. What kind of family do you want to raise? Mm -hmm. What kind of children do you want to have? Mm -hmm. Is this lady you have uh, able to the equal task you want to put in future? Are you equal to the task yourself? Mm -hmm. So it starts with the person. 
yeah. myself mm. am i ready to mm. what i'm doing mm. is it in me or is it by coercion is it by peer pressure mm -hmm. is it what i really want i want to fit in the society mm. so it all starts with the person himself mm. you mm. say mm. that's what i want to do mm. and you know you are doing this that will affect you 60 years to come mm. how do you want your generation to be do you, what do you want to a generation of failures in relationships it just starts with you mm. you plant a seed today it follows you you harvest Harvest, harvest to others. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, get focused, get to know what you want. Know yourself first, mm -hmm. get to know what you want, mm -hmm. then pursue what you want. Yeah. If you want a girl who is whatever you want, that's it. That's mm -hmm. what you want. Mm -hmm. Pursue that one, but get focused. Mm -hmm. It's simple like that. Wow, wow, amazing. <laughs> you know, it's amazing that up to now, we are discussing a story of love of a girl who, is, who have just finished Form 4. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can you can you can tell us more. Yeah. Now you've cleared from four exam in Metokea. What happens? Uh, yeah, the exam was out. I'm looking forward to joining uh, college. Uh, two courses I really wanted to do. Number um, one was journalism. I'm very good in languages. Uh, back even in high school. So actually, some of my 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 peers, those mm -hmm. I was with in the school, they meet me and they're like, you didn't pursue journalism. journalism. Mm -hmm. So that what that was one area. The other thing I was very focused. I really loved nursing, mm -hmm. and at that point, uh, of course, uh, my parents, my mom and my sister, my big sister, felt like nursing was the most appropriate because also of the ability to get jobs. So I didn't dispute because it's something that it's a passion I had from when I was small. Mm -hmm. So from finishing school, results are out, I had qualified for either. So I started pursuing uh, the nursing and the papers and the admission, which I was telling it was a big deal mm -hmm. then getting into a nursing school. And at that point, the guy shows up to assist mm -hmm. and a relationship comes there. Mm -hmm. uh, as I was uh, waiting for, for to, to get admission, because mm -hmm. I know it was a big deal, so having passed, my, my father is late, but he had friends who really felt like they should give back mm -hmm. by being that person, because what they were looking for first, have you qualified, mm -hmm. then as I, I assist. Mm -hmm. So I got an admission, I got uh, assistant, of course, assistant in the fact that not that I am not qualified, I am qualified, but being a big deal, it, those letters were being sold like left and center. Mm -hmm. So I go, I, my hand was held through my qualification and I got an admission. But before then, this guy had shown up in my life <laughs> and uh, we had started a relationship, of mm -hmm. course, that is not quite clear. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, the love was there, but uh, of course, we were all very young. Mm -hmm. So, but him, what amazed me is the focus. Mm -hmm. He was so focused, as he, as he says, mm -hmm. even as he speaks to the young men, because he kept on. As he, he, he used to come to my mom's shop uh, from the clinic where he used to operate, and especially days that uh, were not busy there. Mm -hmm. I, I keep telling him, I don't know why he was not sad. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> most of the time, uh -huh. I spent time at my mother's shop. Yes. So you would come and lean at and the not counter. To see, not to see your mother. And mm -hmm. Not to see my mother. <laughs> it is important to clarify there. To see me. <laughs> to see me. Yes. Because now my mom had entrusted me with the shop. She was mm -hmm. running other of our agendas, her mm -hmm. family mm -hmm. agendas. We have two homes. So most of the time when the, the shop is not busy, mm -hmm. like the non market days in those uh, that the village, mm. she would go back to our village home mm. to spend the day there. She has a farm. Mm. So I used to take advantage of that time mm -hmm. and come to our shop. Mm -hmm. And you would spend even five hours living on the counter. Five and hours? As I said, like, sell the customer. Without getting tired. He remains there. Actually, uh, he, he used to tell me when his friends went looking for him in the clinic. Because we, the, our clean, the clinic and our shop were in the same street, mm -hmm. so people used to say, tell uh, his friends, "You see the shop at the corner. <laughs> when you go there, you will meet him there. You will find and him there. <laughs> you will find him there. Uh -huh. He really enjoyed my company. I think 
I also enjoyed his company, mm -hmm. but what he was a focused guy mm -hmm. because all that time he kept talking about faithfulness in relationship, trust worthiness, commitment, and I'm even wondering about what I mean. are we talking about. There's a whole college ahead of me, yes. and even ahead of him because he had just joined. Mm -hmm. So I, but I, I found him so focused, mm -hmm. something that was not very really common. Here. Mm -hmm. young men and ladies at that age. Mm -hmm. So I joined college. Some point we took a break. <laughs> ah, yeah. We have a break. <laughs> yes, we took a break uh -huh. that he doesn't like talking about. <laughs> Why? <laughs> uh, yeah. You were lonely. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. He took a break. Mm -hmm. doesn't, uh, but later on, I think what is meant to be Mm -hmm. uh, because I think our I think our love was meant to be. I can't <laughs> say that. It was my first boyfriend, I was his first girlfriend. Wow. So even during the break mm -hmm. we still found ourselves mm -hmm. in line. But even as we took the break, mm -hmm. he kept pursuing. Mm -hmm. He kept pursuing. And that's why one thing I keep on saying, even as I'm married to him, I mm -hmm. sit back and tell myself mm -hmm. I am married to the right person mm -hmm. because there's no way someone will pursue you over five, seven years mm -hmm. for no apparent reason if really they do not love you. Mm -hmm. So I think even that break gave me, once we bounced back to each other, mm -hmm. gave me the reassurance mm -hmm. that this man mm -hmm. is a genuine man. He's a serious He's man. He's a genuine, yes. right person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And right person, I would say right person for me because he gave me a reason to see mm -hmm. him behold what I saw, what mm -hmm. I initially saw. Mm -hmm. Because he would, we would have taken a break and he would have gone mm -hmm. on with life and got him entangled with other ladies. Mm -hmm. But he kept up pursuing. Mm -hmm. So that really, when I took stock mm -hmm. of our relationship, mm -hmm. even as we were getting into marriage, I was sure mm -hmm. I'm getting into marriage with the right person. Wow. That time, yes. what caused this break, and uh, how did you find the treatment? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, um, I also could not understand. Mm -hmm. I just found uh, uh, someone has just, go, just gone silent on me, uh -huh. and it was a silent for quite some time. Yes. <laughs> so I didn't understand what mm -hmm. has gone wrong. Mm -hmm. So well, um, then I was in Nairobi that time. I went back to school. Mm -hmm. I think she was left behind, came back. Then I think we disconnected for some time, for mm -hmm. some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so later we came to, to reconnect. But I, well, as you show when you are young, you are trying to figure out what happened, what happened. Mm -hmm. Has she got somebody else? Mm -hmm. she was. So you are having so many things in mind. Eh? Mm -hmm. But then now you don't know exactly what's happening. Mm -hmm. You talk to her, she's not talking to you. Mm -hmm. You also decide to also go off. Yeah. So you all decide to go off. Mm -hmm. So you go silent on each other and you say, let's go like that, we see what happens. But then again, uh, you, well, in your silence, you are still pursuing, mm -hmm. and I think that time I, yeah, yeah, on and off, you pursue today, you make a call, and ask, uh, that response still is mm -hmm. still questionable, then you say, okay, today will not be the best day, yeah. you give us some time, come back again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like that, but uh, well, but I think all of us we kept maybe well, well pursuing each other. Yeah, said yeah. that maybe she never told me, but I'm sure even mm -hmm. her baby she was doing the same. Yes. But I think I was doing that, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. Then when I finished, I came to do internship in the hospital where she was training. Mm -hmm. Then we bumped again. Oh yeah, so we like oh, so wow. we started again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And by the time I finished internship, we had the wedding date. We only finished, <laughs> finished secure. <laughs> That is the story I want to hear. Yeah, so by the time I finished internship, I had my dates. <laughs> and that's it. I just set the dates, the two of us. We yes. agreed this day, the mm. wedding will be there. Yes. And we finished. So when she finished school, there, mm. there was a wedding date. We did not want to waste time. We are listening to this amazing love story of the Mugambis. And I'm just enjoying myself here. Because, why? Kuna mafenzi. Yes, and this is Kapo's Wheel Show, and this is where we write down our love while we are alive, or we don't want our love story to be read. 
when we are gone. And that is why the Mugambis, they had to come and sign their love with. While they are here on this earth, let's continue listening to this story. So, you guys, you guys are amazing. <laughs> I'm a Maliza Kole. Yeah. And the date is set for the wedding. Yep. How? How on earth? <laughs> Well, um, as I said earlier, the moment you realize that there's the right person that you don't settle with, mm -hmm. you don't have to take much time to discuss about it. As you move to the next stage. Mm -hmm. So um, I realized that, well, she has finished college. Mm -hmm. uh, now there's no any other college that she is doing apart from now being a wife. Mm -hmm. I know we, st we, <laughs> we lost that family. Yes. So um, by, by the time... I was finishing my internship, we had started now discussing those things. And the following year, after I finished my internship, we actually looked at our calendar. Which month do you think is comfortable with you? Mm -hmm. So she suggested August. I said, fine, August is okay. Mm -hmm. I did it want to change her bed because I, I actually want to settle. Mm -hmm. So, and then I realized, oh, she also wants to settle. Let's settle. Mm -hmm. The earliest we can, the better for us. Mm -hmm. So we didn't want to take a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I don't know, you are discussing, you are doing what. Mm -hmm. And even when I went to my parents, I actually gave them the timelines. This is the time I wanted to visit their family. Mm -hmm. This time I wanted to do this. This is the wedding date. My calendar is over for that year. What did we the parents say? Well, they were shocked and surprised because I think they never expected maybe to be that soon. Mm -hmm. Maybe they thought I'll work a bit over time. Mm -hmm. Maybe they thought I'll do a few things here and there. But then they were like, oh, what has happened? Who is this girl? So I told them, it's so and so from this family. Uh, now you can do other oh, things. Your family do. knew each other? Uh, not really, not mm -hmm. really well, but they knew each other from a distance. But uh -huh. now you see, now this is coming now to another level. Yeah. You know, they have known each other. Maybe some so and so comes from that place, Asia. So there is mm -hmm. no match. Mm -hmm. But this time now you are telling them, now in this home I found a girl, then I'm like, oh, okay. So mm -hmm. they start, what next? Then I tell them, these are my timelines. Mm -hmm. We work with that one. Wow. So, and that's how it worked because mm -hmm. uh, you see, um, sometimes you have to take control of yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that you don't have issues controlling, then you take charge of your life. So I decided to just take charge of myself mm -hmm. and give them timelines, and that's how it worked. So mm -hmm. I didn't want to take other chances. Yeah, I didn't uh, <laughs> probably think that uh, there guy. may be another, <laughs> there may be another breakup. I didn't want to do another one. Yes. So I decided now uh, that we are in, we have already settled, mm -hmm. we move on, mm -hmm. and that's what happened. Wow. So the following year, August, we finished our business, and now, the life started. You. This guy, mm -hmm. you've just completed your college, mm -hmm. and this guy is coming up with dates mm -hmm. for the wedding. Mm -hmm. how, how was the response? Initially, I was not for it. <laughs> so of course, my mind, I had made up my mind mm -hmm. on getting married mm -hmm. to him. Mm -hmm. But at the time, mm -hmm. I felt like it was so soon initially, mm -hmm. because uh, I remember telling him that uh, I don't want to get out of um, Sharia ya Mama mm -hmm. when I land into Sharia ya Bwana. Ah. Because I had grown up, uh, of course, under the guidance of my mother. And there's like a time you feel as a girl, I need my space. Mm -hmm. I need to get out of work, come to my house, uh, don't cook, mm -hmm. shower and sleep. Mm -hmm. I want to go out with my girls, with my girlfriends. Mm -hmm. I need to, I mean, to, to have that personal space, mm -hmm. I really wanted to. Mm -hmm. And, um, but him, mm -hmm. from the world go after, as he was completing his internship, he was, that's when I was finishing my last year in college. It was clear, he mm -hmm. want to get married. And so we sat down and I gave him my reasons. that I, I, I want my space, of course I didn't start with I want my space, mm -hmm. I started with I want to go to school, mm -hmm. I want to go back to college and further my nursing. Mm -hmm. We said, who tells him that when we get married, you will not go to school? A good question. So he told me, after wedding, you will go back to school. Mm -hmm. And of course now that was not a reason mm -hmm. to why I cannot say yes to the wedding. Mm -hmm. I said, I do not want to get uh, babies. Because mm -hmm. I felt like when people get married, mm -hmm. immediately they get, they get babies. babies. And mm -hmm. me, I wanted that space of being the girl, mm -hmm. not from one responsibility of books to babies immediately. Mm -hmm. I felt I need to enjoy my 
like uh, my salary as a girl. Mm-hmm. I feel good about myself. Mm-hmm. So he said, who told you that we shall get babies immediately? Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. shall get babies when you want. Mm-hmm. Wow. So all my reasons for not having a wedding mm-hmm. were disqualified by his answers. Mm-hmm. So I had no reason mm-hmm. whatsoever to say I am not going to get married. And at that point we sat together. Mm-hmm. And of course, August being my birth month, month uh-huh. was appropriate for the actually it's only that uh, the date could not fit within mm-hmm. the year 29th of august could not fit because we also tried looking at that mm-hmm. my birthday would be my wedding mm-hmm. so we settled on a 7th of august mm-hmm. and we had our wedding mm-hmm. and as he said he went back and wa- and actually mm-hmm. more of on that parents to work within his timeline mm-hmm. and uh, i think that also worked well for us because at that point now we were focused, we were aligned in terms of the wedding. Mm-hmm. We sat down and worked together mm-hmm. and planned together how we want to see our date. Mm-hmm. And I think, yes, he kept his promise because even after that, mm-hmm. we got babies at our, uh, when, we, when we wished. That's why we are saying we are 10 ma- years in marriage, but our first born is six years. Mm. So we didn't immediately go into like babies. Yes, it took us like four years of mm. being together. Mm. We had fun. We did life together. We traveled. Mm. Wow. We did stuff together. The two of us. We had an opportunity to bond. The two of us. Mm. And even by the time I was getting my first bond, mm. and already clear, and uh, my, I was actually going to once doing my masters. Mm. So. I think he kept the promise. Mm-hmm. I think, uh, yeah, as he said, we were lied at that point. Now we got lied in terms of the wedding. Wow. Mm. wow. Yeah. When you broke the news to your mother mm-hmm. about the 7th of August, yes. how did she react? <laughs> the first time I broke the news to my mother, not even the date, because the date is him mm-hmm. who managed both sides. Ah. A session <laughs> with my mother and his mother. What? My his parents and then, mm. on the date, mm-hmm. but uh, you know this thing of going to say I have a friend mm-hmm. who is coming. Mm-hmm. That was the first time mm-hmm. I went to tell my mother about his, his visit mm-hmm. with his two friends. Mm-hmm. Uh, and of course my mom, I was quite young, I was 23, and my mom felt like I'm joking. Mm-hmm. She asked, did you go to school to rent or to, to plan for wedding? <laughs> yes. So to her, <laughs> Didn't it didn't hand up, mm-hmm. but I think I I I thank God for my sister, mm. my big sister. I have a big sister mm-hmm. because she came to we are closely knit mm-hmm. family. And she told my mother back in the village, mm-hmm. there are girls who finished class eight and got married. Mm-hmm. This one who has finished college, college. Mm-hmm. it's an honor mm-hmm. for her to come and tell mm-hmm. you so release. Her. And mm-hmm. also my sister had gotten married at twenty three, mm-hmm. so my mom was feeling like. Uh, you need to stay a little while and get a job. Mm. You see, back in the village, getting a job with the government, mm. it's a big deal. Uh, that's, so my that's mom, when they, would they feel like, like you're stable. You, yeah. Mm. So, of course, I had not gotten a very good job then, mm-hmm. but I was working. Because mm. um, the beauty with nursing, when you cause it within the medical fraternity, you may not come back a lot. Mm. Actually, I got a job even before my results were held. Mm. So, my mother was feeling like, you too young, you, mm-hmm. don't, you don't have a job, mm-hmm. and you're still wanting to get married. Mm-hmm. So when my sister came in, she neutralized the, her thoughts, mm-hmm. and yes, she said yes to their coming with his friends, and then now he came now back to to guide them on yeah. the dates they yes. should work with. Yeah. Mm. Mm. So now you have set the dates, yeah. now, you, now you're sure both parents, they have accepted what next? Well, um, so after the both parents accepted and um, so we had the date set, mm-hmm. so we started our preparations. Mm-hmm. And uh, I remember as we started uh, some months to the wedding, mm-hmm. actually it's almost a year, because after that, after we agreed the two of us, we started doing preparations but before telling the parents, mm-hmm. we started doing our own preparations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We knew that uh, that date will not be changed in mm-hmm. a way. Mm-hmm. We knew it is our date. It's a fixed date. Yes. So we worked with that. Mm-hmm. I remember us even going to do the rings and we almost kept yeah. the rings almost a year in our house, whatever in my house. They mm-hmm. were there waiting. Mm-hmm. So we started our preparations. So mm-hmm. we were doing some bit of it every month. So we used to agree this month what are we doing? We do this few things. We stock. Mm-hmm. Few things we stock. And uh, two, two, three months down the line we were ready. Mm-hmm. 
Wow. So that's what we did, and I think it was well. We planned it well, mm. uh, though we did not have much of uh, finances were challenges as mm. well because we are all fresh from school. Yeah. We just got the jobs uh, just a few months ago, so mm. we are trying to stabilize between mm. uh, being a new employee or whatever other. You are not mm. trying to to foot in a few bills. Yeah. You are trying to to get yourself into your right footing. Then there's a wedding coming. Mm. So there's a bit of a challenge at that point. Eh? Mm -hmm. But the few coins you have, you are dividing between your here, mm -hmm. your wedding, mm -hmm. your what. Mm -hmm. Then you have other responsibilities from the extended uh, community. Mm -hmm. So when you look at that, it was a bit of a challenge. But we pulled through. Yeah. Um, I, I think once we started focusing on that, mm -hmm. and we said this is what we want to do, it mm -hmm. worked for us. We got like a year of preparation. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was it was good enough. Mm -hmm. So we went like that, and the day came, and we finished that. Wow. Yeah. And it was awesome. Yeah, oh, yeah. A colorful wedding. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. A beautiful wedding. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And here you are. Mm -hmm. Including the suit is still there. The, on the, the, the stool that yeah, you wore that. He wears yeah. it. Still it's, there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I have decided to keep it so intentional. It's yes. Like yeah. I'll give it my son's uh, wedding. <laughs> It. Wow, <laughs> I love that. It's still there, so uh -huh. I usually look at it. I'm like, oh yeah, I still, mm. it's still in condition. Yes. Yeah. Those wow. are ten years plus, so it is still there. It is still there. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to remember when. <laughs> <laughs> Let's forget about that. <laughs> wow, mm. an amazing journey. Yeah. But I'm told that our time is up. Mm. Great, it's up. And we must do the second episode. You must hear how was the wedding then after the wedding of course there are the kids mm. you know of course there is no marriage that mm. doesn't have challenges mm. absolutely there are those challenges that you have mm. gone through mm. so this the second episode we want to hear what are some of the challenges mm. you went through mm. how did you overcome them mm. and Great. what are you up to mm. even Great. as you continue holding each other Great. and so that is it next friday we continue with this story because we can't leave such a lovely story hanging no way and these guys they were focused they have set all the dates from wedding to the date of visiting the parents all the dates were set and you want to hear what happens next so make a date with us next friday at 9:45 p.m. and this is couples will show and this is where we write down our love with, when we are alive for we don't want our love story to be read when we are six feet under neither do we want our love story to be read when we are gone and this is Wema TV the voice of hope my name remains to be Willie Kinyash and now there they call me the undisputed Eta Dr. Love Asanteni sana tuonane Friday. Thank you for watching. Kindly share the link with your friends. And you can also follow us on all our social media platforms. Wema TV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Follow us there. You can also follow me on Facebook page. Will Kinyash underscore couples will. Yes, you can follow me there. And also on TikTok. And miyambua ningie huko. So I'm there. Couples will kinyash underscore couples will. You will find me there. Eh, hey, lazima tu jenge maboma. Good night. God bless you. See you on Friday. We love you. Kwa hey.